What's going on guys? This is DeFi Cody coming back at you with another one. So uh, currently, I'm going to go over these steps real fast. We, Where are we with our rollout plan? We are on step five, meaning that we just finished our uh, DAO results uh, last night. And currently, we are set to resume. And today, there was an earn cast. And I'm going to get into what was said during the earn cast and give you the highlighted details. Um, but where are we? So right now we're on step five. So you should be able to set your Indeflect if I understand correctly. Uh, the next few steps are claim tokens. They are 48 hours pre-launch. And you're probably wondering, when is launch? Well, it was discussed during the uh, Earncast. As you can see, seven launch date soon. Well, there is no longer a launch date soon because the launch date has been given to us. And... It is Thursday, December 16th is when we will launch, meaning step six, you'll be able to claim your tokens on Tuesday. Um, and then the only thing left after that is seven days after launch, there will be $50,000 in EHP airdrops. Uh, four, win, four will win to uh, $2,500, 240 will win $100, 100 to $400 in EHP. So yeah, so... I know everybody's, uh, you know, breathing out finally because, you know, you're holding your breath. Like, when are we going to launch? Well, now you know. Thursday, December 16th, we're going to launch. Um, that is our release date. Um, so, what else was discussed? So, let's just go into EarnHub here. And we got a new DAO, a uh, new thing to vote on, Proposal 1. And it is, what is it? Proposal one, increase sell fee after release. Sell fees discourage people from selling their tokens for a quick profit, which is especially hurtful for a token that has recently launched. Increased sell fees also incentivize true holders by increasing their total reflections and mere staking pool reward, uh, rewards. We believe in increased and literally decreasing sell fee will keep the, ch uh, the chart healthy spread out sales and provide higher APYs for those who stick around. So we encourage you to vote for vote in favor of the proposal. Several options for the initial sell fees are provided below. Fees are reduced on every second. For reference, a 53% fee would decrease 1.2% daily and a 35% fee would decrease 0 0.06 daily. And as you can see, <laughs> you know, it's kind of a coincidence that they you know, use those two as reference because it's neck and neck. I mean, if you add up cumulatively, cumulatively, you know, 600, like 6 billion, roughly probably EHB, maybe 7 billion EHB has been voted. So the more you hold, the more weight your vote is. But as you can see, the 53% selfie uh, is currently at 34.91%. And then we got the 35% fee, which is at a 45%. You're probably asking, what did you vote for? I voted for the 35% fee. And the reason is because I believe there should be some consequences in the beginning if you're just here to make a quick buck and because that does nothing for a project, which if you make good money, more power to you. But the last thing we want right now is our liquidity to get drained. And so essentially, I think 35% fee would be good. As you can see, if we get that, which right now we're winning, and personally, I think it's going to win because I'm seeing that the most. Uh, it would decrease 0.6% daily until it gets down to the 17% after 30 days. Um, and what this does is it just helps our liquidity pool. It keeps our chart healthy. And, you know, nobody wants to come in when, if our chart is nothing but a big red drop, nobody wants to come into that because they're scared. You know, people have, they have FUD, which is, it's okay to have FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Um, you know, FUD has been looked at like a bad thing lately. But really, you want to be concerned with your investments. It, it is healthy to question, question your investments because that's your money. That's your hard-earned money at the end of the day. So so anyways, guys, um, yeah, so this is where we're currently at. And they did announce that in the Earncast, there is more votes coming our way. And I just love that about this community. Uh, these this team like they they're listening to the community they're putting it in our hands and it kind of helps probably give them a breath of fresh air because the community decided 
it's not all this weight on their shoulders. And, and you know, you got to appreciate that. They're putting it in our hands. So I went over the giveaways. Um, like I said, over the next few days, there's going to be more information dropping from my understanding. Um, yeah, so the so to recap, the main points of today's Earncast, EarnHub official release date confirmed, December 16th. Let's see, I got this up here. EarnHub official release date confirmed to be December 16th. Tokens can be claimed December 14th. Proposition number one underway on the DAO. New proposal before release. All major issues, I forgot to go over this. All major issues are fixed. So they got the fix. And essentially you can't just stop selling from my understanding. They, what it was is there was an error in our contract and they were able to uh, find the fix. And once they deploy the fix, that will allow us to you know, resume trading. So yeah, so anyways guys, thanks for listening and uh, hope you got something out of this video. I'm gonna try to do another one later today if there's anything else that comes out. I know this is early in the morning for some of you and I uh, went to put it out last night but you know, had to spend time with the kids and Christmas tree and stuff. So anyways guys, uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day.